So this is, should be our last week of full-on Zoom workouts. Yay, right? That's awesome. So if you haven't heard the news, 26 is way, the first day we can officially have classes, okay? So that's when classes will start. We're still working out the details because we're supposed to keep it limited, supposed to keep it, you know, social distancing. There's going to be a lot of things changing. At least how things kind of operate from the norm they were. It doesn't mean I'm going to be different or the class are going to be different. It just means the norm was a little bit more free-flowing, a little bit more kind of an open-ended class. Um, that stuff's going to change, okay? We're definitely going to be a little bit more rigid, a lot more rigid on timing, right? You come in, you know, do things a lot more on a time schedule. So you're going to see a lot more time caps. You're not going to be allowed to hang out afterwards, at least not right away, okay, guys? Um, and I'll put out some more details in a post um, in the group, and then it'll, it'll be a basic post on the Facebook page. In the group, it'll be a little bit more of my thoughts and how I see things going. Um, but we're here to talk about Monday's workout. So, uh, Monday's workout, like five, you know the deal, six o'clock for those of you that can't make five o'clock with Adam. Um, we're gonna be doing a workout that is a 12 minute ladder, okay? So, you're gonna climb the ladder in 12 minutes. It's gonna be by three, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, so on and so forth. You're gonna do deadlifts and push-ups, right? So three deadlifts, boom, boom. Three push-ups, six deadlifts, six push-ups. So it's gonna challenge our push-up game. The deadlift, you can pick your weight, you know, depending on how much weight you got. Most likely, many of you have anywhere from like 85 to like 115. I would say if you, even if you have 135, don't use any more than that, right? Somewhat light, higher rep, we wanna push those push-ups. We want the push-up to be kind of what limits us, okay? Not the deadlift weight. All right, so that's gonna be a fun one. The strength skill is going to be kind of a challenge, right? So it's 200 air squats. You're gonna do 200 air squats as fast as you can. Now, every minute on the minute, you're going to do three burpees, including minute zero. So you start off three, two, one, go, beep. Three burpees, stand up, air squats. You finish when you get to 200. We're going to cap it at nine minutes. Okay. So you're going to have to move quick. All right. Well, we can scale this up and down lots of different ways. If you got questions, let me know. I'll be on there to, to direct traffic. So also be looking for those of you that have equipment borrowed from us this upcoming weekend. I'm, I'm going to be posting times about when I will be at the gym to receive that stuff back. Um, you know, I know we're going to work out a week, but I know it's going to be a weekend. None of you should be going anywhere. You should be traveling, so ha-ha. <laughs> but you might not want to bring it in. Maybe you don't have availability bring it in Friday. Maybe you don't have availability bring it in Saturday. But there's going to be certain times that I'm there to receive it in, check you off, there you go. And we need it back before Tuesday. We need that stuff back before Tuesday. Okay? So, as well, you saw, if you saw my Facebook post, Everybody needs to purchase their own jump rope. It's a small thing. You can get them for like 14 bucks on Amazon. I put up a link on Facebook um, of the two ropes that I personally have lots of experience with that I think are fantastic for CrossFit. They're versatile. Um, I own them, or I've owned them in the past, and I would still buy one now. Uh, RX Smart Gear Rope with the interchangeable uh, wires, right? You can get a thicker wire, a heavier wire, you can get a thinner wire, but the handles are the same. And a regular SR1 Rogue Speed Rope, right? Um, it's the black handle, red rope one. That's cut to fit so we can make it your size. Um, they're the two best ropes I've ever used. Yes, there's other ropes that go faster, there's other ropes that do other things, but those two ropes, I feel, are the, the easiest to kind of get in and do for eight, I mean, I used my RX rope for four years. I used my rope rope for almost seven years in CrossFit. So you don't need anything that's a hundred dollars. You don't need anything special. You know, you don't need those to get double unders. But having your own rope, 
bringing it and taking it with you is going to be a key thing. And it's just one less thing I have to worry about disinfecting and trying to distance from each other thing, right? Ropes kind of tend to hang together. We can't have that, right? So, because if somebody forgets to put their disinfected rope back, or then forgets to disinfect their rope, puts it back, we got a problem. Okay. So, this is one of those things, just like I said, there's going to be some small changes. But these shouldn't really affect you. I put it out early enough, um, and it should have been something most of you were probably looking for or have already done anyway. Uh, one other small thing, there will be no more keeping your gear at the gym. It seems like it shouldn't be that big of a deal, but we used to keep all our stuff in the cubbies. What that's going to do for the time being, until kind of we kind of got over a little bit over the hump of what's going on, we were going to ask that you bring your stuff and leave with your stuff in a gym bag, okay? That way there's not stuff that maybe has been contaminated that's at the gym that, you know, is there. It's just one of those small things I want you guys to prepare for. I know there's stuff there now, but when you come pick stuff up or when, you know, your first day in, we ask you to take it and you bring it back. I know you like to leave your Olympic lifting shoes. I do too. I like to leave all my stuff there. I mean, I work there and I'm going to be taking my stuff in and out um, with me, right? My gym bag will be full of all my stuff and I will take it out with me. It's just one of those things to help us just follow the guidelines that they put through us. That's what they ask that you're not like no shared spaces, people not leaving stuff in lockers. It's part of the guidelines that we read. And I was like, well, this is gonna be weird, but we're gonna figure it out, okay? And as soon as kind of this stuff relaxes, not a problem, all right? Um, but focusing on Monday, tomorrow's a great workout. Let's get another great workout in. Deadlifts and push-ups, and the air squat imam that's gonna challenge us to move quick. All right, guys, as always, mobility and warm-up are on the website. So if you aren't doing this with us at five and you wanna do it on your own, follow along, everything's right there that we're gonna be doing, okay, guys? All right, thanks.